Mornings in Miss Boyer's math classes look more like the start of an eHarmony commercial than a lesson on mixed numbers and improper fractions. Students in the Dublin Middle School 7th grade class split up into two groups and head to opposite sides of the room, dashing two to a desk when Boyer says go to kick off the first of four or five 30 second dates. A couple of speed dates in, students begin to find their way in front of Boyer's Promethean board to signal they found the perfect match. Boyer checks them off, usually giving a smile or an awesome sauce on their success and then splits the students up to speed date one more time. Unlike the adult version, where the expedited icebreakers are designed to lead to soulmates and forever after, Boyer's math equivalent is intended to help students use their peers to breach problem-solving barriers. I know about speed dating, so I thought about um, just thinking of something that they would enjoy. Uh, this is the middle school, so you know they all talk to different individuals. They're starting to get interested in dating people, so what I did was say, why don't we speed map date? Because I tell them they need to date their lessons, and that's how I came up with it. This particular morning, the class had to solve a word problem tied to the rise and fall of stock values turning an addition problem between a negative and improper fraction into a mixed number solution. You go around and you're gonna sit, let people tell you or share with you on how to compute this word problem. Boys and girls paired up and were deep in conversation, something usually only found at the lunchroom table. But these exchanges were less about middle school melodramas and more about turning a mixed number into an improper fraction and frequent reminders not to forget to use your butterfly rule. Oh, they absolutely love it. And it, it opened the door with them to know how to talk to other their peers about their lesson and ask questions on how to do something. Because at this age, they kind of tend to not, not want to ask each other, how do you do something? So it really opens up that communication with them. Seventh grader Antonio Benjamin said he looks forward to his math speed dates every day. Uh, I, think, I think it's a wonderful experience and I get to uh, talk to my peers. Usually we, uh, we're in the class, you try to make it uh, more, as active as you can because I'm kind of like a hands-on learner. And uh, most people, some people are a visual learner, but I'm a hands-on learner. She, appro she approached math like she's very serious about it. She tried to make it as fun as it can and uh, she's very active. Classmate Jeremiah Gilmore agrees. Because it's, it's a certain way that Miss Boyer teaches to us, and it's, it's like she act, she's fun with it, and like she teaches in a certain way, and it's just fun. The math speed dates have been so much fun for Gilmore that he started holding impromptu versions at home with his siblings. It's, it's like just basically the same thing, because um, like if you got uh, peers at home, you just do it like you do it like you do at class. You just act like your sister or brother, one of your uh, classmates. You just teach it to them so they're learning when they get over. Reporting from Dublin Middle School, Jason Holcomb, Dublin City Schools.